Hello, beautiful people. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, so, Tinibu's uh, government uh, uh, economic policies are causing is causing a lot of uh, harm to businesses in Nigeria. Uh, so, the latest update is that Nestle Nigeria Limited uh, records pre-tax loss of 255 billion in 2024 amid uh, Naira devaluation. And the funny thing, just imagine 255 billion. Remember the VP house, how much was it built for again? You understand? The country is sinking. It's sinking in our very own eyes. But who is going to build the cats? I'm certain that Sinibo and his gang will not be the people that will improve Nigeria. I was just thinking the other day. I was just thinking of how useless Nigeria can be. Do you know Nigeria doesn't reward academic excellence? That's why many of our young people that are educated, they don't believe that education is important. I was wondering, why can't the government... Uh, Every end of the year, um, you know, maybe create competition to um, among all the people that came out first five or first ten in all the schools, in all the regions, since geopolitical zones in Nigeria, region by region. I was even wondering why does the Nigerian government not even? By the way, this apart from this topic, I'm just telling you how useless Nigeria can be. Why can't Nigeria even give all her first class students money for five million? 10 million. Why? Those are things that will give people hope. You understand what I'm saying? Not if you finish your first class, if you finish all the studying, you know, trying to be competitive, the government will just mess you up. You know, so the country is a sinking sand, my brother. Just imagine the total loss, 155 billion. You know, tomorrow, now this company leaves and sacks their workers, some of you will say it's good so that uh, local competitors uh, will, will function well. You don't know that this company, with their experience, is going with their expertise, is going with their experience and everything, you know, and the people dependent on them and those dependent on jobs. You know, the country is going, you know, it's going. a lot of companies are already left. Was it not a pick and pay I was reading that sold its shares in Nigeria markets? It's not viable, you know. I have a friend that supports APC, and I used to ask him, will you invest in Nigeria? He said, never, you know. Nigeria has a lot of issues, especially you know issues that will uh, frustrate you i was watching a video the other day to um transporting goods from north to south task collectors nigerian criminal uh, military and police can collect up to seven hundred thousand from truck drivers so those people will put it on the goods that's why prices of products are expensive at the same day the people collecting those bribes they will pay a higher price for those goods this is something the government can dismantle overnight it's not difficult just ban it. Anybody caught, put the person in jail. Make it public. Do you understand what I'm saying? Try the person in a public court. My dear, Nigeria needs the iron hand to do some things. You're not looking at two-chase face when you're doing things. You will do it aggressively when you know that you're doing the right thing. No, I beg. No, menge, menge. No, sorry. No, I have uh, four children. Please, don't put... Once you break the law, you go jail, whether you're big or small. We need to start somewhere, you know. Look at it. Now, statistics will go job. It's only after 5 billion now. Loss. And the end is not in sight. By the time Tinibu finishes, this country will collapse. The judiciary, look at the judiciary. Mwike and his gang using, uh, telling the court to stop uh, allocations to River State. And River State. So, I don't understand. The Nigeria is a, which kind of court even, you know, approves such judgment? Now, imagine if you're a company going to court against the Nigerian government. Do you think we win? That's why those Chinese were seizing Nigerian planes. Because they know anything they judge in Nigerian court is useless. You understand? This embarrassment that Tinibu and APC will create, it will haunt all of all the people that is supporting it and the people that are engaging in it. People like Reno Mokri that is seeing black and calling it blue. You know, sometimes you know, sometimes I even think, just imagine Reno Mokri, his children. Is the man building a better future for his children? Or because of politics. You know, they don't think. You don't think. Even sometimes I even wonder the Igbos that Reno Mokro only vilifies. What of if that his daughter Billy got married an Igbo man? It's possible. So the the country is just dysfunctional. It's a banana republic. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Tribu's economic policy. Look at Fuad, I've increased it again, by the way. Eh? The other day I showed a video of people packing spaghetti in by hand. The country is gone. 